Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I just want to go over a couple basic formulas you can use here in Excel. So I've got some uh, a few stocks listed, uh, Mantawak, Netflix, and Apple. And I've got some buy dates, buy prices, sell dates, and sell prices. And the first thing I want to do is just calculate a simple gain loss. So gain loss formula equals, and I'm going to use a set of parentheses here, sell price minus buy price divided by buy price or the uh, the um, phrase I use in class is basically the new price minus the old price divided by the old price so new minus old divided by the old sell minus buy divided by the buy either way and I'll go ahead and click that gain loss now I've already got mine formatting as a percent but there's a chance maybe it came out as a, as a decimal no big deal so if it reads as a decimal and you like that then keep it but if you want it to format as a percent then just change it over to a percent shows the number of decimal places you might like so Mantawak from uh, first week of January until here in mid-February 17.3 uh, percent gain now because all of my rows are set up in the same way I can simply autofill that formula down so I can see the simple gain loss for each of these three companies from their particular uh, buy price to sell price. So just keep in mind it's new price minus the old price divided by the old price. Now let's go a step further with this and let's figure out um, kind of our, our average gain or average loss. And this will be a little bit inaccurate just because um, I haven't annualized these returns here. And basically they're all in kind of, you know, one was January, th started January 3rd, January 18th, January 8th. So I've all got different dates. But at least let's start off the process here. I'm going to go ahead and make a um, another column in here. And I'll just call this investment. Now in theory you'll probably have some other data like the number of shares you purchased and then you could do the number of shares times the buy price to get the investment but we'll just play around with this number and let's say there was a 10 grand in this cheaper stock and um, maybe six grand over here and four grand over here for Apple and let's just remind ourselves that these are currency values and I'll just get rid of the decimals the sum of all of these 20 grand. Okay, so I had $20,000 $20, of investments around that January time frame and sold out over here. So what I want to do now is start to figure out the average uh, gain loss. Now if I just you know select these I can look down in my status bar down here near the very big bottom of my recording and I see the the average gain here was 30.6 in fact I'll just kind of make a note of that off to the side average equals average there we go 30.6 percent but really what I want is the weighted average let me go ahead and select these right align them so I really want the weighted average and to get the weighted average I have to acknowledge that I had a different portion of investment in some versus the others so a weighted average kind of a weird looking little formula but I think we can figure it out here I'll just type it down here equals I'm gonna take my um, first gain here and I will multiply that by the investment of that first company, Mantawak, divided by the total investment. I'm going to make that total investment absolute. Not that it's really necessary to do so. And then I can close that parentheses, close that parentheses, plus. So basically I'm taking my gain in Mantawak and multiplying it by the weight of the investment in Mantawak divided by the total investment. So I'm taking 10,000 divided by 20,000 here, or 50%. And I'm going to kind of repeat this process again here. Doing a little plus and opening parentheses, I'll take the Netflix gain and multiply that by the Netflix invest in, investment amount divided by the total investment. By the way, I keep doing that absolute reference, not essential here. And then one more plus the loss for Apple times 
the investment in Apple divided by the total investment again. Closing parentheses, closing parentheses. And one more, actually I don't need another closing parenthesis, I'll just press enter here. So that's my basic formula. I'm taking the gain or loss of an individual stock and multiplying it by the individual investment in that stock divided by the total investment. And let me go ahead and do a uh, convert this over to percent. Show the decimals. There we go. So my, my very simple average was 30.6%. But because of the weight of my investments, basically, I had 16,000 invested in the two gainers and 4,000 invested in the loser. So the weighted average was actually a little bit better, 32.3%. So the average and weighted average uh, percentages are actually pretty close together in this one, but what if the numbers were a little bit different? What if we had a $1,000 investment in Mantawak, 3000 in Netflix, and 16000 in Apple, which was, the big, which was the big loser? I still only had a $20,000 investment, but because such a big percentage of the investment was in Apple, which was a loss, the weighted average has dropped down to 3.7 percent. Most of your and most of the investment here was now in the losing stock, and a very small portion of the investment was in the winning stocks. So here, my average is still the same at 30.6, but the weighted average, the more accurate measure, 3.7 percent.